Berger appeared in an Idaho courtroom Thursday facing multiple charges related to the murders of four college students last November. Do you understand? Yes. Kaylee Gonzalez's father described seeing the suspect in court. He didn't have the swagger that I think he thought he was going to have being put in that type of situation. I think you see somebody who feels overwhelmed and defeated. The 18-page affidavit from authorities reveals a chilling account from one of the surviving roommates. She says she awoke around 4 a.m. and thought she heard Kaylee say, there's someone here. She looked out of her room but saw nothing. She then looked out again when she thought she heard crying from Zana Kernadel's room and heard a male voice saying, it's okay, I'm going to help you. She opened her door a third time, standing frozen as she saw a man clad in black clothing and a mask that covered his mouth and nose, saying he was athletically built and had bushy eyebrows. He then left through the sliding glass door. The roommate locked her door and authorities say police were not contacted for another eight hours. Police mapped out his likely route to the house. They say cell phone data also shows Koberger was near the victim's home at least a dozen times before the murders and the morning after. Police say they discovered DNA on a tan leather knife sheath left next to one of the victims, linking that DNA to Koberger by collecting his father's DNA from the trash outside the family home in Pennsylvania. Koberger did not enter a plea on Thursday, but maintains his innocence. Another hearing in the case is set for next week. Alexis Christophorus, ABC News.